Hi, this is Laura GB. Welcome to day one of my 12 days of components. So today, given it's Christmas day, we're going to draw a Christmas tree. Here I am in a completely empty app, a brand new one. We're going to first of all have to turn on components. So we do that by clicking on file and then clicking on settings and then clicking on advanced settings. And then we scroll down. Now currently components still are an experimental feature. So if we scroll down, there we are, components, we can turn that on. And then the arrow top left hand corner will take us back into our app. And we now in the tree view have screens and components. So let's click on components and we're going to go for a brand new one. Which I am going to rename. Let's call it day. Let's go for zero one because I want these to kind of be vaguely alphabetical. And Christmas tree. That works. So that's renamed my component. So now we've got the component screen here. It's got a width and a height. Um, it's square, which is what I want. Okay. So I'm going to just zoom out just a little bit so I can see. Oh, that's weird. Zoom back in a little bit so I can see the whole thing. And we're going to draw a Christmas tree. Now I'm going to use SVG to draw that Christmas tree. I've got lots of blog posts about um, using SVG in Power Apps. I'll put a link down below. So let's go to insert. And from media, we're going to put in an image. And let's resize it to fill the whole thing. So I am over in the um, dimensions. I'm going to put X to be zero and Y to be zero. Put it top left. And then I'm going to click on the word width, which puts it up into the formula bar. And into there, we're going to type in, there we go. It gives us an, an idea, parent.width. So there we are. It's the size of it. Now we're going to go for the height and sure enough, we're going to put into there parent.height. So that means as your component gets sized, it will resize correctly. So now we need to go for the image. So if I click onto image, it's put into sample image. Now here comes our parts that we need to do to do SVG. So I'm going to delete that. And SVG needs to start with a string. Now it's always the same string. So I recommend you follow my posts that are down below. And it always starts with a string that tells it it's going to be an image. So let me type those in. Well, let me, let me be honest. Let me copy and paste those in. Okay, so that's the beginning. And then we ampersand onto that. Um, the SVG, but the SVG needs to be encoded. So we use encode URL. Let me do a shift return after that. Okay, let's let's expand that down. And let's put in a square bracket. Okay. So a bit more expanding there. Right. So what we're going to put into there is the SVG needed to draw a Christmas tree. Now I am no artist, so this is not the best in the world Christmas tree, but it will do for what we want to do today. So, just to show you, we've got a, we've got a couple of paths. The path of the the path at the top there is the tree, a hollow circles to be the baubles, and then I've got a star at the top. Let me just remove that, and there we are. We can see we've got our component that's got a tree with some baubles on. I'm going to rename that image in there to be tree. So if I now go back into my screen, okay. Now, zooming in and out is really weird once you've been in components. It will suddenly zoom you to the wrong places. It's quite bizarre. But now I can add this to my screen. So on the insert ribbon, we're going to go to the custom button and drop that down. And they are day one Christmas tree. So there we are. We've got our Christmas tree. We can, because it's SVG, it's quite cool. We can resize that to be whatever you like. 
That component was the simplest kind. No inputs, no outputs. So that was day one of my 12 days of components. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. Mm-hmm.